This week, Google unveiled something it's calling Instant Apps. They're a lot like normal apps, except instead of going into an app store and downloading it and installing it on your phone, you click a link and an Instant App is ready to go. So uh, here's an example of a, an apartment rentals app called Zupper. Uh, so imagine I'm looking for an apartment uh, with my wife and she sends me a link. She's been look, using the Zumper app to, um, to find some apartments. She says, hey, do any of these look wor worth looking at? But I don't have the Zumper app installed on my phone, but I can just click on the link and it'll bring up the Zumper app and I'll drop right into that, uh, the page that she was looking at. I can flip through uh, different apartment listings. I can look at the map um, and pan around the map, and zoom in, use all of the native capabilities for that. Um, and then if I pick, uh, like an apartment, I could just click on it and then share it right back to her. Um, as if I had you know, gone through installing the app and I had it on my phone. But when I'm done, this upper app is not uh, installed on my phone any longer. It's actually pretty clever. It works by taking a traditional app and chopping it into pieces. Each of those pieces is called an atom. Each atom is assigned a small subset of features from the larger app. Because it's so small, it can open as quickly as a web page, and because it's only assigned specific features, it can perform those specific tasks just as powerfully as the traditional app. Developers can um, modularize their apps and uh, enable deep linking in their apps, and uh, that means that any time a user uh, taps on one of those deep links, Google Play can download just the parts of that app that are needed to show the experience and uh, run it instantly. So Google won't be rolling out instant apps until later this year, but if they work as advertised, they could change the way you use your smartphone forever.